press the record button. Recording is now in progress. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't want to stop you. You were saying such wonderful things, but I thought, you know what, before we get too into it, we should probably record this bad boy just in case any of those cannot join. And we're, we've kind of slowed down on the admitting. So I think that we're ready to officially get going. So Casey, I'll let you take it away. Great. Well, uh, uh, again, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today on your on your uh, lunch break. In some cases, we really appreciate the time, um, and we're here today to to talk about Union World River Cruise Lines and and uh, the Union World experience, and to answer some of the questions that I'm sure you all have uh, about what the experience is like. What are the COVID protocols? Uh, what are the things to know about that? Um, but we're going to talk about a lot of the fun stuff too, and and uh, the reason that we love Uniworld so much. Um, I have uh, a lot of history with Uniworld, so to Sharon. Sharon was on, Sharon was on board the very first Uniworld River Cruise, uh, invited by the Tolman family to experience, and we've been we've been kind of in their back pocket ever since. They're they're just our favorites, and it's an incredible experience. Uh, many of you know I have a, a film production company, and Uniworld is is my biggest client. I think I've made six films for Uniworld now, including for uh, uh, one or two of the itineraries that we're going to talk about today. Uh, the last one I made was uh, for Egypt, actually, and uh, we're going to talk about Egypt today. We have a fantastic new itinerary, uh, but I want to, uh, without further ado, introduce uh, our great friend Ashley Zaldivar from Uniworld River Cruise Lines and uh, let her take it away. Thank you, Ashley, for being here with us. Thanks so much, Casey. I'm always excited uh, to chat with you guys and to catch up. Even though we're still virtual, I am hearing some murmurings that things are going to change here very soon, and I'll be able to get back out uh, to y'all's office and see all of you in person here very soon. Uh, well, thank you again, Casey, and, and welcome everyone for being here with us today. As Casey mentioned, I'm Ashley Zaldivar. Some of you I've met in person at the uh, Sharon Car Travel office, maybe at the holiday party, maybe at the uh, anniversary event that we did some time ago. So it's great to see all of you uh, here today. Again, uh, even though we're virtual, uh, we're still excited to get back out there and travel. And there's no better way to do that than with a, with a group. And that's what we're going to be chatting about today are some of the upcoming group trips. Uh, Casey and I were chatting just a few minutes before all of you joined us today about just how amazing some of the deals are that Sharon was able to capture on some upcoming Uniworld trips just because of the pandemic and where a lot of the inventory is laying right now. There's some gaps and um, Sharon and the team have always been so such great supporters of the Uniworld brand. And so we're very excited to come to you guys today with some uh, sneak peeks and some very, very lucrative uh, deals for upcoming group trips. But uh, before we get into those group trips that we'll be looking at today, I know that there might be a few folks here on this call or maybe listening to this recording a little bit later that are not familiar with Uniworld. Maybe you have not cruised with Uniworld. Uh, maybe you're just hearing about us for the first time. So I would be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the brand and the product and who we are as a company. Um, as Casey did mention, it is an all-inclusive luxury river cruise line. We do operate globally around the world. Of course, Europe tends to be our most popular river cruises, but we do offer some cruises in the exotic markets, as Casey mentioned, like in Egypt, also in South America, and in India as well. One of the big things that I truly believe makes Uniworld stand out in an environment where there are quite a few different river cruise companies to choose from is really and truly um, the design and decor. And that is headed up by uh, Beatrice Tolman, who Casey mentioned just right before we started our recording. And the, the Tolman family do own and operate the Uniworld Boutique River Cruise Collection, and also uh, the Red Carnation Hotel Collection. And they're known for the procurement of original 
antiques and also original artwork from around the globe. And we have that same exact design team from Red Carnation on board our ships as well. So even here in just this image that we're looking at together right now, this beautiful mosaic that you're seeing, this is a three-dimensional piece. And if you see it in person, it's just stunning. Um, these are pieces of Murano glass that have been hand painted and uh, collated into this beautiful mosaic by a French artist that the Tolman family is very close with. So should anything ever happen to the ship, this is the SS Maria Teresa um, there in Budapest, um, this beautiful mosaic would be going down with the ship as they say. So many of these pieces are originals that you can't find anywhere else. And each ship is decorated to match the destination that it visits. So you can imagine with such stunning ships, the service is just second to none as well. Um, Casey's got a myriad of stories, as do the other travel advisors over at Sharon Carr. And so does Sharon herself about ways in which our staff have really gone out of their way to ensure that every single guest is met with the utmost of luxury in their experience. And if you're a Dr. Pepper drinker and they don't have Dr. Pepper in Croatia, by golly, someone on that ship is gonna run out to a market and find you some Dr. Pepper for your cruise with us. I guarantee you, I've heard many stories just like that um, with regards to the service. And if the service is that great, the food is even better. Um, I have never been able to exit a Uniworld cruise wearing the same pants that I have embarked. I always bring my stretchy pants uh, with me uh, because you're gonna be eating and you're gonna be eating very well with our five-star uh, arm-to-table cuisine. Of course, all the experiences are included as well with two excursions a day. Typically, you've got one in the morning and one at night for about 90% of the time that you're cruising with us. But last but not least, I do wanna to touch on the all-inclusivity. Casey did mention that Uniworld is all-inclusive and that is a fact. From the onboard gratuities to 24-hour room service and 24-hour concierge service, to unlimited beverage and whether that's coffee, tea, soda, beer, wine, or spirits, it is unlimited. And um, we really don't have a, a closing time at the bar. If I'll be honest, I, I remember asking one of the bartenders on my very first cruise, I was very green uh, in those days. And I said, you know, when is last call? And he said, Madame, we do not have a last call on board Uniworld. Our bar will close upon the exit of our last guest who has decided to make their way to their stateroom for the night. So it truly is a very luxurious experience on board. There's Wi-Fi, you've got entertainment coming on board. You've also got a fitness center um, and just everything you could ask for. I know my mom really enjoyed the room service when I took her on board the SS Joie de Vie for the Paris and Normandy itinerary. I got her breakfast in bed one morning when my sister went out to do the excursions with me and we came back and mom was still wearing her fuzzy socks and robe and still in bed with the paper. She hadn't gotten up and that for her was one of the best days she had on that cruise, just lounging and uh, capitalizing on some room service. So we're going to get into the nitty gritty of today's chat. We're not going to take too much of y'all's time. We'll probably be done in, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll take some questions. But there are quite a few deals and steals coming up that Sharon and the team have procured. We can't wait to share those with you. We will talk pricing. We will give you dates, but more towards the end. So stay tuned if you're interested in hearing about the prices that will come just at the conclusion of today's webinar. But first and foremost, I wanted to mention the Egypt trip. This is true. Casey did do videography for us on this itinerary. Jen was with him. How pregnant was Jen when you guys went? I mean, beyond, she was probably five months pregnant, right? I think she was four months. I think yeah. Jen was four months. She was a very good sport. She was my muse. She was kind of my model for that shoot. And uh, this itinerary exceeded all of my expectations. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, and there's a significant land portion to it. You're about half on land and half uh, mm -hmm. on the Nile, but it's a full seven days on the Nile. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's an extraordinary experience. Um, your, your time on land is really in Cairo. So you do two days at the front, two days at the back, mm -hmm. uh, and then the seven day cruise in between. You don't actually see the, uh, the pyramids until the very end of the trip. As, as we do in this industry, we save the best for last. 
and uh, it, it is a really incredible way to bring home this trip. But the uh, uh, the ship that we were on, uh, which was the River Tosca, was was a really extraordinary all sweet ship. There's a brand new ship called the uh, River Sphinx, which is what we have this itinerary on. I'll let Ashley uh, talk about that ship. But I've I've seen some of the uh, the pictures, and it is extraordinary. Yes, we're really excited about the Sphinx. We began building her out in 2018 and 19, and she was supposed to debut in 2020. But like everything else in, in 2020, it did not happen. Uh, none of our travel plans happened. We were all stuck at home, and the poor SS Sphinx was stuck at the dock uh, there in Egypt. And now she will be embarking this year in 2021 for the very first time. Um, we did get to do... A, a little bit of a, of a video walkthrough. She's just gorgeous. The photos should be coming here very, very soon. The summer months are quite hot, as you all can imagine, in Egypt. So she will pick up her sailing schedule in the fall. And it is um, just a breathtaking, itinerary breathtaking ship. The Tosca was an all sweet ship that Casey and his lovely wife, Jen, experienced back in 2019. This new ship, the SS Sphinx, is going to have a myriad of cabins. You're going to find staterooms such as the um, French balcony that we're all used to, and you're going to have a multiple levels of suites. So a more varied from a pricing standpoint for those of you that may not um, be interested in booking a suite. And then yes, just like Casey said, we do save those pyramids for the very, very end. Now, I personally am a Francophile, and I've done all three of our Egyptian itineraries. Some of them I've done, sorry, our French itineraries. Some of them I've done twice, and Burgundy in Provence is one of my absolute favorites. It doesn't have as much wine as you find in the Bordeaux region, um, and it's, it's a really great compilation of the food and the wine and the culture. And ladies, if you like shopping, there are several different opportunities in which you get to stroll around the local farmer's markets, the shops. This itinerary can do Avignon to Lyon, or it can do the reverse. We have a great deal on this itinerary coming up next spring. And um, I, I just, I can't say enough great things about this itinerary. It's on the SS Catherine. The Catherine has over $1 million in original artwork on board, including one of the famous mosaics um, that we have on board several of the ships. She's got Murano glass everywhere, including a Murano glass Trojan horse that sits in her lobby. There were only two of these ever made, and I hear they're valued at over $250,000. So a beautiful ship. Um, I have included some photos here of the lavender fields. This is a photo, not just from my iPhone, but I took it while on board a Uniworld motor coach. So there is a screen, there is a window that's even blocking us from the view. And I love that you can't really see the clouds, but there is some cloud cover coming um, from the right side. So you get that beautiful, shadow view. Um, this was in July. If you want to see the lavender, you do have to visit the provincial region, region right at the tail end of June or the very first few days in July because they do cut those lavender fields. Uh, lots of active um, elements of this itinerary from hiking. We did hike in the Tan Lermitage region. So we're hiking amongst the vineyards as you can see from this photo and also biking as well as kayaking. So again, you don't have to choose the active uh, excursions, but they are available for you. Another one of my favorite itineraries and the one I ended up choosing for my five-year wedding anniversary with my husband in 2018 was Venice and the Gems of Northern Italy. This is an eight-day, seven-night itinerary. If you do want some land, you can fly into Milan and start your journey with us in Milan. You would fly into Melpenza Airport and spend two days with us in Milan. We get you tickets to the Last Supper um, and we take you on a city tour. But the way that Sharon and Casey are doing it this time is just Venice only. We've got a slamming deal for all of you. It's a very, very inexpensive. This is Venice to Venice. What I love about this itinerary, excuse me, is it's really a Venetian island hopper. I'm not a geography whiz. I'll be the first to tell you that. And I did not know when I first traveled to Venice that it is an archipelago that's comprised of over 125 islands. That's 125 islands that make up Venice as a whole. So if you are just traveling to the mainland, maybe visiting 
St. Mark's Square, maybe you go to the Basilica, and then you leave, you really have only seen one 125th of the region of Venice. So this particular itinerary takes you via water taxi, via uh, Vaporetto, uh, via gondolier to many of the magical islands of Venice, in including Torcello, Mazorbo, Burano, Chioggia. It's just an amazing way to see the sites. And we do, for the first time ever, get to stay overnight on the island of Burano and no other passenger ship has this honor save Uniworld. Here are a few photos of uh, St. Mark's Basilica and here's the famous Rialto Bridge. We do visit St. Mark's Basilica after hours. It's a Uniworld only excursion where we have a private evening viewing. Just an amazing itinerary and I highly, highly recommend it. This one is all new, and I know the whole team at Sharon Card Travel is really excited for its debut. It's called Dutch Delight, and this is a Rhine itinerary uh, utilizing our beautiful ship, the River Empress, and it's going Amsterdam to Amsterdam. For those of you local to Dallas, like myself and Casey, we do have a direct flight with American Airlines that goes straight from DFW to Amsterdam. So it's a real easy flight. I know a lot of folks uh, love to go to Amsterdam, but this is a really fantastic itinerary because you're going to visit Rotterdam, you're going to visit Zandam, you're going to visit Schnoevelven, you're going to visit Veer, um, and Harlingen. Harlingen is a beautiful little town, lots of charming shops. It's a very small town with a very, very rich, rich history. So you don't want to miss it. Um, so many folks have uh, sailed on the Rhine in the past and are looking for more ways to experience that region. And so we wanted to develop, develop an itinerary that was still Rhine, but gave you some new places to visit. So without further ado, I thought we might talk a little bit about the pricing. And Casey and I were just chatting uh, before today's webinar about how amazing these deals really and truly are. Uh, first off, we're looking at Splendors of Egypt and the Nile. That's right up here at the top of the screen. Right now, the sharing car price is $47.99 per person, and that's for an April 23rd departure date next year. Now, if you go online at uniworld.com, you're going to see it's $6,000 per person to start. So Sharon Carr, we're getting an amazing deal. We're getting over $1,200 off per person for this itinerary. It just doesn't happen. I'm just being honest with you guys. This kind of pricing doesn't happen. Um, Sharon Carr and Casey are very, very close with the Tolman family, our ownership company, and they have a hard line. It's like a bat phone. I've seen it. They won't show you, but I've seen it. It's a bat phone and it's bright red and they can call and get these amazing prices. And I just don't see anyone else having these prices. We've got Burgundy and Provence coming in April. Venice and the Gems of Northern Italy is actually going to be this year. And I just looked up the pricing before our webinar today. It's going for about $31 to $3,200 per person. But at Sharon Car, you can get it for $24.99. So if you don't already have any plans for 2021, maybe you weren't sure if we were going to be able to get back out there and traveling. Maybe we weren't sure what the vaccine, how fast we were going to be able to get it. Well, now you can go travel this fall for under $2,500. It's just bonkers, I tell you. Um, that's not what my husband and I paid in 2018. I will tell you that. It is not what we paid. Um, Dutch Delight, again, a brand new itinerary. This is some amazing introductory pricing. $21.99 per person. And that's for next July 30th, about, um, about 13 months away. And that's $21.99. I haven't seen a price that inexpensive and I don't know how long. And if you go on the website, you're gonna see it for $31.99 per person. So that discount is $1,000 per person. And this is all inclusive. Again, you've got your gratuities, you've got your transfers, all food, unlimited beverages, beer, wine, spirits, coffee, soda, tea. We've got past passenger specials as well that come with that in addition to um, a shipboard credit. And the shipboard credit varies depending on which itinerary you choose, um, but the pricing is just second to none. And this picture, Casey, what is the um, picture that you have here for us? Will you give us a little bit of details? 
That is from when uh, I actually filmed the the uh, Uniworld India itinerary. Oh. And uh, far right there, there's Gary and Peggy Ort, who are actually on this call, going on the on those two cruises uh, over the summer and in the fall. Um, and that was a, an absolutely magical itinerary. I'm not sure what uh, Uniworld is doing with that itinerary at the moment. If you if you've pulled back from there, you know, lots of um, uh, lots of adjustments were made uh, during the pandemic, and and uh, some of their itineraries um, changed. Like Russia, for example, I believe is is uh, mostly train and motor coach now. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's moving to real only next year. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, I, I don't think India is there to be booked right now, but I, I believe it'll be back. Um, but Uniworld's exotic itineraries have been my favorite. I've, I filmed uh, Paris and Normandy and uh, Eastern Europe. Those were wonderful itineraries. But my very first film for Uniworld was Vietnam and Cambodia, um, which is a, an incredible, incredible trip. It's one of the best I've been on. It's, it's probably tied with uh, Egypt for me. Um, and uh, by the way, we're going to have a Vietnam uh, itinerary for next November. We don't have the contract or pricing for that yet. Uh, Sharon is working on that. I don't know if you guys can see me, but Sharon's right here. Come say hi, Mom. Here she is. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> um, and uh, um, we're also going to have a, a, a delightful Danube on the Beatrice um, for August of 2022, which we don't have that price listed yet. Uh, by the way, everybody, I, I'll send you all an email with links to uh, the details for these trips. Uh, feel free to email me if you if any of them uh, spark your interest. Now, I'll, I'll be sure you get with the right person, the coordinator of these groups to take your reservations. Um, but uh, we're this is just part of what we're working on for the next year. Ashley is uh, not to toot our own horn, but Ashley is right. We get better pricing than than most other agencies in the country. That, that's due to our, our relationship uh, with Uniworlds, especially Sharon's relationship with uh, Gavin Tolman that goes back almost 40 years now. Uh, so um, we're, we're going to have a wide array of uh, trips and uh, all of those will be will be sent out to you. Um, if you're on our email list, we'll, we'll be sending them out as soon as they're ready. But after this presentation is over, uh, and by the way, we recorded this presentation. So if you need to go back and look at, at anything, I'll be sending out the link for that tomorrow, uh, along with uh, all of the trip information for you uh, for these trips that we talked about today. You so uh, over here, Casey, I'm answering a bunch of questions that are coming through in the chat. So we've had some great questions. I thought I thought maybe I might read them aloud or do we want to talk about protocols? I, too? I know that was something we wanted to talk about. I, I think that's a good idea. Actually, you could you could read some of those questions. I saw those coming through as well. Those were good questions. And then let's talk a little bit about the protocols and what the onboard experience is like. Awesome. All righty. Well, the first question that we had come through was, what is the cost for the Burgundy and Provence trip? And I, I went ahead and answered it by just reiterating what we see here on the screen, that we've got $34.99 as the special sharing car pricing for April 3rd, 2022. But as I'm rereading the question, the question was actually from Jim and June Pape. Hi, Jim and June, thank you. They were asking for what is the cost for Burgundy and Provence during the lavender season, which is late June, early July. And I don't have that information pulled. I don't have it in front of me. I could go to the website, but if I were y'all, uh, Jim and June or anyone else who has that same question, just reach out to the Sharon Card Travel team. I did put their information down here so that you don't have to go digging it up. If you wanna give them a call, they can pull that pricing for you. We don't have a group in late June, early July. Um, the, the good pricing, the really deep discounts that we were able to find uh, were on that April 3rd date. The next question that we had that came in to the chat was from uh, Patty Jaziri, and she wanted to know how many days again was that Venice trip, and it's eight days, seven nights. Um, the next cruise, or the next question that we had was, um, can we mention the price ranges in the different cabin categories for the Egypt trip? And my answer to that there in the chat was that I don't have that right in front of me at the moment, but any pricing for the differing stateroom categories can always be obtained by reaching out to the Sharon Car Travel team. They have um, all of the pricing that they've secured. Again, I don't always have access to these deals. I'm not that special. Sharon is, Casey is. I don't have the backbone. 
they've got the bat phone. So you've got to call them to get all that uh, pricing for the different stateroom categories. And then the last that, question- That'll be included with the, the details that I send out tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. And the, the next question was, can that Dutch Delight cruise be combined with another cruise so that you can stay a little bit longer? And of course, you can always do that. We do have the Castles Along the Rhine, which is an Amsterdam start. So you can combine some of these cruises and go back to back if you like. And then Gary Ort just um, sent another question, Casey, and he wanted to know if Sharon is working on a group for the Amazon. We've talked about it, but we have talked about that, and that's a very new product, um, yeah. and it has been uh, filling very, very quickly. So we've been we've been searching for a date that yeah. is open where we can we can kind of work our magic, get the space that we want, and uh, uh, get the price right. So yes, Gary, we are definitely working on that Uniworld's uh, Amazon product. Uh, obviously, we've only seen the videos and pictures thus far, but. Uh, it looks incredible. Um, it's going to be in the Peruvian Amazon. And so uh, there'll be a, an element where you can go see Machu Picchu first. You can go down and see the Nazca lines, um, do your cruise. You could even go to the, to the uh, Galapagos Islands after that. Uh, so that is a wonderful itinerary. We've been waiting for Uniworld for years and years to come to the Amazon. And it's finally happened. Happened right before 2020. We were all very excited. And then and then uh, that just put the kibosh on our plans for a while, but we're working on it, Gary. You'll, you'll be the first to get the information. That's right, Casey. It's an amazing itinerary. And the unique thing about the particular ship that we're utilizing, it's not a unit world ship. You know, UNESCO doesn't allow anybody to walk in there with some hammer and nails and build a new ship. They're very protective of the Peruvian Amazon and the rainforest surrounding. So we're utilizing a gorgeous ship called the Aria Amazon, and it has 16 suites on board it's an all suite ship so only 32 passengers on board and that's why it's selling out so dang quickly so Sharon and Casey have been kind of scouring the calendar to find a date that'll make sense the pricing starts right around 10 11 thousand per person so it is a pricier itinerary than we're used to seeing so maybe not necessarily a value um, particularly a group but definitely a bucket list destination for certain. So Gary, if you and anyone else is interested, shoot them an email and, and they can reach out to me. And once we see that there's a lot of folks that are really interested, we can really kind of put our foot on the gas and blow up the bat phone and start making those calls. <laughs> the next question is for Vietnam. Casey, do you wanna take this one? They wanna know if it's 21 or 22. I'll let uh, Sharon take this one. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello, um, we do have one for 2021. We're just waiting to see if it's going to operate. We already have the dates for 2022. It's November 4th through the 16th. So we will move people that are on 2021 to that date if they cho so choose, or we will have new pricing and a brand new group for 2022. Thank you, Sharon. Now I think might be a great time to talk about protocols. What do you think, Casey? I think it's perfect time. Awesome. Well, really excited to share with all of you today. You're amongst the very first uh, live folks to hear that Uniworld is back in the water. We began sailing just last week. Um, we are currently in Italy and in Portugal, both on the SS La Venezia and the SS Sao Gabriel. Um, Ellen Bentridge has been kind of hopping between the two ships to make sure she can wish everybody a welcome back. Uniworld is the very first river cruise line to be back sailing post 2020. So we're very, very proud. And it's because of the support of Sharon and her amazing team and other agencies like them that we were able to pivot so quickly and get back in the water. But it is different, right? It's not the same, and particularly in Italy. They still have a mask mandate. And those of us here locally in Dallas, Texas are thinking mask mandate. We haven't had that for months and months and months. But in a country like Italy, they still have it. And you'll still see folks walking around, even outdoors, even when they're socially distanced, still wearing a mask. And that's um, elders, uh, adults, and children alike. So because of that mask mandate that has been instituted countrywide, we do have to follow that same protocol. Now, if you're on board the ship, 
and you're seated in the restaurant or the lounge and you're enjoying a food or beverage, then of course you may remove your mask. But even when you're walking around the public areas of the ship, like the hallways and the lobby area, because the Italian maritime authorities are restricted to the Italian land governing processes and protocols, we do have to keep our masks on. Now, of course, we all hope that this will end very soon, and we certainly expect it to not last forever, um, but we are seeing those mask mandates in some countries still today. Now, another great thing I wanted to mention is that as long as you are vaccinated or have proof of a negative COVID test within 72 hours of your trip with Uniworld, you are, of course, allowed on board. Um, and then what we are also doing is facilitating the testing for those that are not vaccinated to disembark. Um, all of the countries do have that protocol in place where when you are disembarking the ship, um, it's a maritime authority uh, protocol actually that requires that each guest exiting the ship that does not have proof of vaccination must have a negative COVID test result. So we are facilitating those tests by um, contracting with local folks to come on board and administer those tests. It's being done very fluidly, um, very quickly. Um, and what we're doing is the cost is different in every country. So that cost will be allocated to your stateroom account. Now, as you know, with sharing car travel, when you travel with a group, you already have a shipboard credit that's allocated to your stateroom account. So 98% of the time, that shipboard credit that you have will cover the cost of your COVID test. I mentioned the pricing may vary. In France, they don't charge you at all uh, for the test, but they do charge to administer it 20 euro per guest that is administered that test. So that 20 euro would be allocated to your stateroom account. In Portugal, it's 90 euro. Um, that is the cost for the test itself. And in Italy, it's 130 euro. So it just varies country to country. And we're monitoring all of those mask mandates and other protocols related to the spread of COVID-19. And we are making adjustments where necessary. In particular, in Portugal and Spain, the Sao Gabriel is sailing right now. Again, very exciting. And that itinerary goes Porto de Lisbon, but Lisbon has just gone under a secondary lockdown. So we did have to make some adjustments and in order to help slow the spread, we are not going to be traveling to Lisbon and instead we're traveling elsewhere. So again, those types of pivots are going to continue to happen. Just know that uh, you can be confident that Uniworld will be taking care of everything from the administration of the tests to monitoring local authority protocols and also maritime authority protocol as well. Uh, there is a question from Bill Cooley and he wants to know, is there a manner in which fully vaccinated personnel can identify themselves as fully vaccinated or do we need to plan on carrying our vaccine cards? Great question, Bill. To my knowledge, I'm told that you should carry that vaccine card with you. Um, I had a recommendation that came to me from a, a medical representative that I know well, and they said, never bring the original with you. It's like a birth certificate. You don't want to carry your original birth certificate around, but make a copy and a copy of it will suffice. And that medical uh, friend of mine said, you know what, you should even laminate that copy. That way it doesn't get um, damaged by um, the elements while you're traveling. So definitely bring that um, vaccination card with you. Another question came in from Gary Ord. He wants to know, to clarify with the proof of vaccinations, a negative test is not necessary. That is correct, Gary. If you do have proof of vaccination, you do not need to also obtain a negative test. It is either or. Last question from Karash Panahi. What about testing prior to return to the US? Do you provide that? Yes, we do. We will facilitate the administration of testing on board the ship. Anything else I missed, Casey? How did I do? It's my first time giving that spiel. Did it did it sound okay? <laughs> yeah, no, that's I think you covered all the bases. And and it's important to remember that these these regulations and restrictions and protocols are changing constantly. And so uh, even though uh, Lisbon has gone on secondary lockdown, that could be lifted, Gary, by the time uh, by the time you travel. Yep. Um, uh, and the restrictions can change everywhere. Even the uh, restriction 
to to get back into the United States uh, where you you need a test, no matter if you're vaccinated or not. Uh, we are hopeful that that a system will be developed to uh, accurately track people who are are vaccinated. Um, and uh, I, I know that something like that is in the works. And if you are vaccinated, you'll hopefully be able to skip the test on your return into the U.S. But uh, as of now, uh, that restriction remains in place. Uh, we'll keep everybody obviously informed of, of things like that. It's our job to stay on top of those things. Uh, so when, when you book your trip, we'll, we'll keep you uh, abreast of all the different protocols, um, including uh, uh, a, an update right before you travel so that we're, we're on top of what the current protocols are. And they can honestly change while you're on your cruise. And, and itineraries can be adjusted to uh, go into places or go out of places. So uh, that's just the state of the world right now. And we, we encounter that in every facet of this industry from, from hotels to river cruises, to ocean cruises, to tours. Uh, it, we're, we're in a sort of a weird limbo. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced who, who have traveled right now where, where uh, uh, restrictions are being enacted and, and uh, relaxed in real time. And uh, everybody is adjusting as best as, as they can. It's important to remain a little more patient than uh, than we probably all used to, um, but it's it's still possible to have a, a wonderful experience, especially on Uniworld. I agree. Thanks, Casey. I couldn't have said it better myself. Any other questions that we could answer? Type them in the chat. Feel free to go off mute and holler it out if you'd like. And by the way, everybody, if there's, a, if there's anything that we miss, um, of course, you can you can email me your questions or, you know, you might think of a question when you're laying in bed tonight. I wish I would have asked that question. Pick up your phone and shoot me an email. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Uh, or if I don't have the answer, uh, Ashley surely will. And uh, um, we are uh, I, I wish this was an in-person meeting. Uh, I miss your faces. It's, it's so nice to see uh, some of you by video here. And uh, soon enough, we're going to return to in-person uh, uh, meetings and, and consumer events, and, and uh, it'll be just like the good old days. But this was honestly really fun. I, I enjoyed uh, your presentation, Ashley, and, and uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, another quick question from uh, Austin. Ashley, do you see that question? Yeah, what operational questions determine when to add back a cruise, i.e. Vietnam? Oh, I think it's because the question Austin is asking is related to Sharon stating that we're waiting to see if the cruise is gonna operate or not. That's a good question, Austin. And honestly, there's way too many protocol that we are currently monitoring to answer that with ease, to be candid with you. There's right now, the cruise is not suspended. So as of this very moment, the 2021 Vietnam trip that Sharon has scheduled is operating. Um, again, just like Casey said, it could change on a dime and it could be CDC, it could be airlines, it could be new lockdowns, it could be a myriad of things. It could be the Delta variant popping up. We just don't know. So we have to continue to monitor. And if it is safe to travel, we will continue to operate that itinerary. As of today, it is scheduled to operate. So I hope that's enough info. Um, it's, it's quite a, a complex situation, that's for sure. And Austin, we won't leave it until the last minute. We'll, you'll know uh, well in advance if the, uh, if the itinerary is going to be postponed. Here's another one. Oh, Jim and June said thanks, and that they've been thanks. out in the world to Egypt and Russia, and they were both some of the best trips they've ever done. Thanks. I was there with uh, Jim and June in Russia. It was a, that was a wonderful trip. Thanks, Jim and June. It's great to see you. Thanks, everybody. We sure appreciate y'all's time. I'll send you the recording, Casey, as soon as it's ready. Okay, Ashley. thanks, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. And, and uh, reminder, again, I'll, I'll send out uh, the details for these itineraries that we discussed in an email tomorrow, as well as a link to uh, the recording of this, if you'd like to rewatch or share. So Ashley. thanks so, so much for being with us. Ashley, can you address uh, meals?
on uh, the river cruises? I know they're going to be different than what we've had in the past. Oh, that's a great question. That's a very great question. We will still have the buffet set up. For anyone that's traveled on Uniworld, you might notice that our buffet stations are permanent. Uh, it's not like we've put up a, a folding table from Costco, right? It's a permanent fixture. It's just the chafing dishes that are changed out. So those buffet stations will remain um, there in the restaurant facilities and you may walk around and peruse the offerings but um, today what's going to occur is that you'll have a menu of what is there on the buffet and your uh, waiter in the restaurant will take your order and he or she with gloves on of course and a mask will uh, plate your food from the buffet and deliver it to your table. Dinner will remain the same unchanged. Will there be more than one seating for lunch with everything being different? Nope, we did not decide to move forward with separate seatings. Everything will remain the same as far as timing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. One more question. Are staff of each ship fully vaccinated? That's a great question, Austin. I had the same question. Our staff is coming from many, many different countries from Bulgaria to Russia to many other countries in Eastern and Western Europe. So not everyone is fully vaccinated, but we are working our burns off to make certain that they all do get fully vaccinated. The incidence of vaccines and the availability of vaccines differs from country to country. So Uniworld is doing our part to ensure that each and every staff member is vaccinated and those that may not be vaccinated just yet they do have access to testing on board and they are required to get tested every 72 hours and their results of course must remain negative in order for them to stay on board but again that should be a very short-term solution um, in the long term the plan is to have every single staff member vaccinated I think that's it for all the toughies, right? I think that's it. <laughs> okay, thanks again, y'all. And uh, uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Keep an eye out for that email from me. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks, have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody.